What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can literally copy and paste top five and top 10 lists onto YouTube Shorts using the power. And what's crazy is there are literally channels using this exact strategy, making upwards of $450,000 per year. But that's not even the best part. The best part is the fact that if you look right here, their views for the last 30 days alone are up almost 150 percent and their subscribers for the last 30 days are up almost 250 percent and that means that this channel right now doing the exact strategy i'm about to show you is actively blowing up which means it's all the more likely for you to blow up and start making money yourself and something that may even be better than what i just showed you is the fact that there's nobody on youtube teaching this niche and i'm going to show you how to do everything completely step by step and all I ask of you, simply watch the entire video so you don't miss out on any of the steps and smash the like button. That's all I ask, completely free to do. So assuming you already smashed the like button, let's get into the video. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be copy and pasting those top five and top 10 lists onto YouTube Shorts using the power of AI technology. And obviously top five or top 10 is kind of the niche, but the channel that I was showing you on here on Social Blade with the 450K earnings is Top Things World. And before I show you that channel, I just wanna say, please understand that 450K, this channel could make a lot more or a lot less than that. This is just an estimate on Social Blade. For example, my channel, I make much more than what my Social Blade says. It really doesn't matter how much they make. The fact of the matter is, is this is what's possible if you're willing to put in the work. However, this isn't gonna happen overnight. You have to be willing to be consistent and actually put in that hard work because no one I know has uploaded five videos and all of a sudden, boom, $450,000 in their bank account the next day. Like it doesn't happen like that. It took me months to even make a dollar on YouTube and most people give up after a couple days. So please don't let that big number intimidate you. You don't need 450K to be successful. Like I just wanted to make 2K a month when I first started. I don't wanna be like all these other YouTubers who give like unrealistic expectations. Like I just wanna be real and show you the real way to do this. So I hope you understand that very important. But now the channel is, like I said, top things world. And if we click on their channel right here, you can see 77K views, 3 million, 3.4 million, like 142,000, 185,000, 2.6 million, insane amount of views. And just so you can see kind of what their video looks like, I'll click on this one here and I have the volume turned off, but basically at the start, they just show a little bit of text. They don't show their face. They do speak this first part. Like they say, top 10 mobile brands in the, uh, in the world. But after that, they just show like an image with text on the screen that pops up. And then they have some music in the background. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do all of that. And I'm gonna show you how to do it much better than this and how to monetize it with a very specific way towards the end and a way you can make even more money after that. So definitely stay tuned for that. And for this video, just for example, I think we're gonna recreate this one because you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? Instead of top 10, I think we'll just do top five just for ease of use, you know, to make it a little shorter. But the first step to actually creating this video is by using a tool that I love is vidIQ. And not only is this like a YouTube tool where you can get keywords and you can learn so much stuff about YouTube through it, but they have the AI coach, which is basically like a chat GPT version of just YouTube specific things. You get what I'm saying? Like, ChatGPT is great, you can use it for anything, but the problem is half the time, or probably more than half the time, you can't even get access to the website because it's just so busy. It's like, we're at capacity. So that's kind of annoying, but also vidIQ is made specifically for YouTube. Like if I was to ask it, what are the top five phone brands in the world? You can see they won't answer that question because it's not directly related to YouTube. So you kind of got to word it in a way that makes sense. So instead, if I reset conversation and say something like, can you write me a script about what the top five phone brands in the world are currently? And as you can see, it listed them and it literally writes a script. So this is something that ChatGPT just doesn't do as good as vidIQ does. And by the way, like obviously we don't need a full script for a YouTube Shorts video. So if you wanted to just say, hey, could you uh, list those five phone brands again without any text, please? 
So there you go. So now it's much easier to like copy and paste, right? And you can definitely go to ChatGPT and get this same information. But if you wanna use the strategy that I suggest for like higher level things besides just doing YouTube shorts, this tool is going to change the game because of this script part. We're not gonna use that today, but I'll explain more on that later, okay? So again, you're welcome to use ChatGPT if you want. But if you want vidIQ, they do have an exclusive 30-day offer only available for my subscribers where you can get a $1 trial for 30 days. And I mean, it's basically a no-brainer, right? So if it's not of use for you after the 30 days, you're welcome to cancel. But it's just $1. And that's just barely scratching the surface of what vidIQ can do, okay? So now, basically we got our video idea, the top five phone brands in the world. We got the list of them. So now the next step is actually creating the video. And this is another tool that I've talked about on my channel before. You could probably guess because I use it for all of the editing purposes and it's in video. If you already have in video, you can skip ahead like 30 seconds, but real quick, if you don't, basically they have a business and an unlimited plan. They used to have a free plan, but it was kind of pointless because you couldn't export videos anyways, but it's 15 a month for business and 30 for unlimited, which is on the yearly. So you get 50% off because on monthly it's 30 and 60, okay? So it just depends what you wanna do. I suggest the yearly because I mean, it's a huge discount, but totally up to you. But regardless, whichever route you go, whether it's business or unlimited, make sure you use the code Garrett's 25. You can get 25% off your entire order for life. And the link to that is in the description down below. But now, once you have your actual account, this is the homepage of NVIDIA. And they actually have AI stuff like text to video. This is more for like regular long form videos, but this isn't what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna use just the regular editor for the pro video creation right here because it's gonna be easier for the type of YouTube shorts we're creating. So let's click on this right here and you're gonna wanna go to portrait. Now, you don't have to upload anything right here. Exit out of that. And the first thing you want to do, if you look at their videos right here, back at the beginning of it, if I refresh it, it's kind of funny. On every single video they have, they have like a video of outer space. They have the same exact audio and it works for them. So I think we're just going to kind of model off of what they did and do something very similar, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So let's go back here and you go to videos and we type outer space and then hit enter and you can pick whichever one you want. This one looks pretty similar to what they have right here and you can either drag it or you can hit the little plus button. I'm just gonna drag it right now and then hit right here, you hit add. And now what you wanna do is you just wanna basically take the corner right here and make it bigger. And let's do it. They kinda had it off to the corner a little bit like that, right? And let's see what it looks like when we hit play. So there's not much movement, a little bit, but one cool trick you can do is you can actually go right here to the speed and you could just speed it up a bunch to kind of see if that makes it look like there's more movement because you wanna catch someone's eye at least a little bit at the start. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So now what you want to do is you just want to basically go to text, add heading, and you can also use these pre-made ones right here, but let's just add a heading and do it from scratch. So you can see how to actually do this the right way, which most people don't show, but you just hit that plus right there. And then we're just going to either double click on there or hit edit. And all you do is do the, or we could just do top five best phone brands or, or what is it? Top five mobile brands, top five mobile phone brands in the world. Okay, so a little different, but we'll, we'll go with that. And we wanna make this a little bigger, but you don't want, see the thing is, if you go to theirs right here and we hit play, you can see this text at the bottom here, it's actually gonna be in the way and it looks a lot harder to read if the text is in the way of this text right here. So you don't want that, you want it towards the middle or up a little higher, okay? So probably something like that. And then if you click on it, you can go to the font right here. You can choose from all these different types of fonts. It really isn't that important, but if you want a different one, go for it. We'll try that one. That one looks good. But yeah, choose whichever font you want. It really is not that important. You wanna make sure it's you know legible, obviously. You don't want it to be like really thin. You want it to be more bold. But we'll go right here 
and you wanna go to the text effects. And for this first one, there's a few different ways you can go about it. You could have a background fill, you could have background shadow, you could change the color of this, however you want. I think we'll go with shadow on this. And uh, yeah, that looks good. And again, if you wanna change the color of this, you could go right here to text color and you can make it yellow, just like theirs, right? There you go, okay. And this font isn't the best, honestly. Like that's probably my favorite, font is the Montserrat bold, which is what I have right here, or Montserrat black. So that's probably my favorite just because I like how bold it is. And you can make it a little bigger because it's more wide. You get what I'm saying? So that's much better in my opinion. And now what you want to do is you want to add the voiceover for just this first part. Trust me, it's not a big deal even if English isn't your first language. Like this video, he's from India. You get what I'm saying? So it's not perfect English at all. You don't have to be perfect with anything. You just have to actually do it, okay? And there's really two ways that I suggest doing it. So the first way, which is gonna be the easiest if you don't have like your own microphone or a laptop with a microphone built in, you're gonna wanna just upload your voiceover file and you can do that by just going on your phone, turning on your voice memos and literally just saying what you wanna say. So you'd be like, you'd press start on your voice memo and you'd be like top five mobile phone brands in the world and then you would hit done and then you would send it to your computer like email it or you could send it on facebook or however you get it to your computer and then you would hit upload boom you're done but just for ease of use because i do have a microphone i'll just hit record voiceover and then i'll hit start recording right here just so you can see it it's going to be right here okay so i'm going to hit record top five mobile phone brands in the world and then you hit stop and then you just hit add and you can also just cut it right now. So you go like that and you cut to where I ended right there. And now you hit add. Also, this is how you make it smaller right there. But yeah, so let's turn this back on. Now what you wanna do is you wanna basically make this the same size as the voiceover. And now you're done with voiceovers. That's the only part where you're gonna speak. Now, like I said, you can do it without using your voice, but this is just how I suggest doing it the right way. Because if you want real results, you gotta do real things, okay? So now, the next step is the easiest part, okay? So just go to images now. So right there, images. And what was the fifth one? It was this one. I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Xiaomi maybe? So let's just type, uh, oh, I don't need the number. Type Xiaomi phone. Okay, you could use any one of these. They just basically use like blank backgrounds. Um, it's totally up to you, honestly. Here, let's see how this one will look. Let's hit add. And then you want this to the right of what you just did, okay? So now, you can make this bigger. We'll do it like that. And honestly, you could make it the full amount or you can make it a little less. And also you can delete that logo thing. Um, let's do it like that because there's a couple things I wanna show you. So first off, we need more text, okay? So what you can do to make it easy is you can just stretch the text right here and then you can just snip it. So now this is its separate text, okay? Hit edit. And then you can just paste in that uh, five. And I, I'd probably do a uh, number five and then a dash. I just think it looks better. And then let's make this like um, 72. That's pretty small. Let's do like 80, that's good. Now, for this, if you wanted to keep it going what they do, if we hit play again and uh, wait a couple seconds here, they do the white background with black text. Totally up to you. I think we'll just do that because it seems to work. So let's go by going to text effects, hide the shadow, turn on the background fill. So we want the background to be white and then we want it all the way turned up. And then obviously we don't want it that big. So make it smaller like that. And then you want the text color right here to be black. Boom, easy, right? So now what you wanna do for this is we're gonna kind of make like a template because we're just gonna copy and paste these for each of them and then just change the text and the image. But what you wanna do is now you wanna add on a little bit of animation effects. And this is stuff no one shows you by the way. So make sure to smash the like button if you're enjoying this. But just go to the animation right here and go to like blur. We'll go blur in and change it to like five seconds. And then for the in place, you see how it's just a still image right there? What you wanna do is you wanna pan it, or actually we'll zoom it in, we'll zoom in. You could go zoom in or zoom out, but I like zooming in there. And then for the text, because now the text is gonna show before the phone shows. So now we're gonna go to the phone or the text right here. You go for the in animation and you go to blur again and you go to in. And then again, five seconds. 
So now, watch what it does. You see, that's just more eye-catching than just a still image and a still text. You get what I'm saying? So basically, if you look at theirs, it was like probably, I don't know, two seconds for each slide. Um, but it's up to you. I would probably go with about right there, okay? And then again, we're going to just slice it, slice it, and then cut those off, okay? And now this is the easy part. What you're going to do is you're just going to duplicate this, move it to the right, duplicate this, move it to the right. That way we don't have to redo the uh, animation every time. But now what you want to do is on this one, so we go instead of number five, we're going to go to number four, Oppo. Never heard of that one before either. But uh, we'll go back here, go to edit number four, Oppo. And then for the image, we're going to go to an Oppo phone now. Okay. So now they got a bunch of different ones. Let's see here. What does this one look like? You could take it and just drag it onto here now, right there, let go, and then hit replace. So now it's gonna be the same size as this one. So you might have to resize it a little bit, but it's got all the animations on there. Okay, so let's make this smaller. All right, so we're gonna need it bigger than that. And you wanna make sure the logo shows. We'll do it like that, okay? So now you got number five, number four. So I'm assuming you kind of understand how this works now. That's how you do the entire thing. So I'm going to finish the other three off camera and I'll be right back. Okay. So one thing I want to show you, if a image is sideways like this, you can actually just drag it down a little bit and there's this little circle and you can use this to kind of turn the image and make it kind of whatever angle you want it to be. So you could do it something like that. Just a quick tip, but I'm almost done. One more phone. All right. So I finished all five of these. I got to Zoom this out a little. There you go. So all five of them. I'll export it and then I'll show you the finished version. So when you export it, again, you just go right here to go to export and then you want to go to 1080 and then you go to export. All right. So here's the finished product. Top five mobile phone brands in the world. All right. So obviously there's no sound or music in the background yet. And I'm going to show you a way where we can do it. That's going to blow you away. But if I go back to again, his video right here, if you look at all of his videos, he uses, like I said, the same image on the background, the same text style, and he literally uses the same audio for every single video. So we're going to try using it and I'm going to actually upload it and kind of see what the results are. Spoiler alert. The results are insane, but I can't show you quite yet. I'll reveal these actual results very shortly. Just keep on watching. And something most people don't know is the only way to actually get the audio that he uses is by using your cell phone because you have to actually use the YouTube app and you get access to special sounds, they're called, that you can only use on short form platforms like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, etc. So basically, I'm going to take this. You would email it to yourself or however you're going to get it to your phone. I have AirDrop, so I'm going to do that quick. All right, so this is my example channel I've used a few times, which is kind of crazy because all these videos have gotten insane views. But basically you want to go to this plus button at the bottom here and hit create a short. Okay, this is very, very important. All right. So you can see in the left corner right here, the videos right there. So we'll hit that video and then you want to hit done. And then at the top right here, you can see add sound. So you would click that. It didn't show the name of the sound on their videos. I had to use Shazam to figure it out. But this is the uh, name of the sound. I'll show you. So obviously, I'm not going to say this out loud. So it's this one. Um, <laughs> there's usually not an apostrophe right there. Uh, but you, you could guess kind of what it is. Um, but it's the instrumental here. Okay, so you'll click on it and then hit the blue button here. I'm not going to play the sound because it can sometimes affect monetization on regular videos, but you won't have a problem with YouTube shorts because YouTube has worked that out with the artists. But now you'll just hit this green, green, that's a white check mark right there. And now it would have the sound on it. And then one thing I would suggest doing is going to volume because this audio is pretty loud. So I would turn that down so it's not like too loud where you can't hear your voice at the beginning. So make sure you do that. And then literally all you do is you go to the top right and hit next. And then for the caption, we're going to do top five mobile phone brands in the world. And then do a hashtag shorts. I always add that one. So that's your title. And it now allows you to change uh, which one you want selected as the um, thumbnail. This is brand new. So you hit that little edit button right there. And I don't know, I'd probably choose 
that one's fine. We'll just hit done. It might still auto choose it for you. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, so now you just hit done and then you hit upload short. And there you go, it's right there. And it did choose the one that we selected. So you can now choose the thumbnail, which you couldn't do before. So I'm glad they updated that. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, one. If you wanna check it out, it's on the channel now. But we're not finished yet. Okay, this is the most important part. So now we're gonna actually monetize that video, which you can do from the start. You don't have to be monetized to earn ad revenue or nothing. You can do this at the beginning. And this is with something called affiliate marketing. And this is how I made my first dollars online. And basically companies like Amazon, Target, all these huge companies, they allow you to promote their products. And if someone purchases through your unique affiliate link, you earn a commission. And the nice thing about ClickBank compared to like companies like Amazon, Amazon's paying you just a couple percent where ClickBank has digital products where you can get 50, 60, 70% commissions and make some pretty large amounts of money. Okay, so that's how we're gonna monetize just right off the bat. And what you wanna do, if you don't have an account, you just click start here and they will ask you this little thing. But what you wanna do is you wanna skip this and now you wanna create your account. So make sure you do that. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. And then inside of ClickBank on the marketplace up here, there's a ton of different products. For what we're doing, you're probably gonna wanna go with like e-business and e-marketing and we'll just hit view all. And some ones that I would suggest doing for this method because it's not really like on a specific topic like we're not a health and fitness channel so we can't use fitness products but products where you get paid to use Facebook or online jobs like that's pretty broad like almost anyone is interested in that so I would choose either live chat jobs or get paid to use social media basically this one pays you 18 almost $19 this one pays you almost 55 up to you whichever one you want to choose we'll just start with this one so what you do is you hit promote and then I would just choose the default. You can preview it just to see what their website looks like. Pretty basic with a video, so that looks good. And um, then you just hit create hop link and that's your affiliate link. So create that. And this is basically the link we want. We're gonna copy this link, but you wanna go to a website called bitly.com and then you scroll down right here. And what bitly does is you paste in your long link right here, right? And then you shorten it and it shortens that long link to this smaller link right here, okay? Well, you can't see it right there. So we'll hit copy on that, and that's what we're gonna use on the actual video. However, most people will be like, oh yeah, just go to your short video right here, and then go to the description of the video. But you can't get to the description when you're on shorts. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the comments right here. And I think we did the online jobs product. <laughs> Make sure you pay attention to which product you choose. So it's live chat jobs. And again, if you wanna kinda understand more about the product, you can go to their website again. So you just go there and kinda watch the video. For a job you can do online, how does getting paid $25 an hour to reply to Facebook comments sound? There you go. So you could say something like, uh, get paid $25 per hour replying to Facebook comments. Or you could say like, wanna get paid $25 an hour replying to Facebook comments? Learn more here. There you go. So that's what I would comment because that's super congruent with what he says in the video. So right when they click the link and watch the video, they'll be like, oh, okay, I'm at the right spot. So we'll hit comment and then you basically wanna pin this comment. That way, anyone who goes to the comments on this video, that's the first comment they're gonna see. But now, I do wanna mention this because it's very important. When I talked about vidIQ and how it can basically give you a whole script and how that's not important for shorts, it's very important for long form videos. And I highly recommend using long form videos along with short form videos, which if you didn't know, that's how I actually blew up my own personal YouTube channel was combining short form content with long form content. And obviously when I first started blowing up, YouTube Shorts wasn't a thing, so I just used TikTok. And I'll put some images on the screen, but basically what I did is I took each longer video and the same day I posted that, I posted like a 30 or 60 second short video about the same thing, just much shorter. And as you can see, these are my analytics from 2019 to 2020, where my life completely changed because I used short form content with long form content. It's insane. And uh, basically, 
you would do the same thing with this niche. You would do, okay, we did the five mobile phone brands. You would make a longer video where it's the five mobile phone brands. You just, instead of 10 or 30 second short video, you do a eight or 10 minute long video where you explain each of the brands more in depth. It's very, very simple. And this is why I teach the importance of long form content inside of my No Face YouTube course. I mean, take Ben, for example, two weeks inside the program and he's already at over 400 subscribers. That's insane. Like it took me six months and I think I, it might even, yeah, eight months and I was at 400. So he's done it in two weeks and he said, I'll put it up on the screen, but he said, I only have four full videos and 20 plus shorts. I'm learning that full videos are where I'm getting a good steady views from. But uh, yeah, you can read it right there. But uh, he's crushing it. And he's, <laughs> that's the amazing thing. Like I was so slow to get subscribers and make money when I first started, but I didn't have anyone teaching me anything. I just figured it out on my own. So that's the true power of having someone who's done it and knows what they're doing, teaching you the right way. So I hope you appreciate all the free value from this video. And if you want to learn more, definitely check out my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com. And if you want to get access to any of the tools I talked about in this video, the links are in the description down below. And if you're like, Thomas, I don't want any of that. I'm not interested. Don't worry. You can click the video on the screen right now. And that's all I got. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next video.